All right, welcome back everyone and uh, welcome to the next session. I'm very excited to, to have Toby here today, who's going to be uh, presenting something about uh, starting out Maltic Meetup in Lagos. So um, before we start, uh, Toby is the, the lead in the Maltic Meetup Lagos, and he's also the assistant team lead in the Maltic marketing team. So welcome, Toby. How are you doing today? Hi, Dennis. Thank you so much. I'm good. And you? I'm great. Thank you. For, thanks for asking. Um, if you have any questions while watching this session, please go, sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> please go to the link below to ask your questions for Toby. Uh, we'll get to the questions at the end of the session. So without further ado, I'd like to say, uh, Toby, the floor is yours and enjoy. All right, Dennis. Thank you so much, Dennis. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Olua Toby. Um, <clears throat> this is, um, it's evening here, it's actually after 8 p.m. And um, it's glad to be on this um, session to be talking about Maltic Meetup Lagos and how we started it. Um, I'm going to be sharing how we started and what we've been able to do so far, and also um, what uh, we've been able to learn. So uh, please go on with me as I check it through this um, <laughs> the journey to the infinity. Okay, great. So uh, my name is Olua Tobi. You can call me for short, Tobi. I'm from Nigeria. I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm well, pretty outskirts of Lagos, between two states, Ogun and Lagos. But mostly I'm in Lagos. And um, I'm an open source and multi enthusiast. So um, I love to volunteer and I love to build communities. So um, I'm actually a lead for Google Business Group at Belkuta in Nigeria. I'm also part of the Facebook developers, um, Facebook developers as an um, extended uh, lead, extended community uh, team, team. And um, <clears throat> you can always uh, reach out to me online if you need to talk to me or if you need to get any information about me. Uh, kindly um, check me online, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. My handle is um, at Tobso, T-O-B-S-O-W-O. Okay, great. So today's agenda, I'll be taking us through this, uh, some things you need to know about the Lagos Tech community in case you might be interested in coming to Lagos or interested in being part of the Lagos community. And then I'll be talking about our first step. Then I was talking about our journey so far and to infinity. I'll be talking about the tools that we've been able to use and how it has been able to help us. I'll be saying, talking about what we learned and um, what we also be putting into use for our future meetups and for our future um, events. And uh, at the end of the day, we'll be having an opportunity to uh, have a question and answer session. All right, so um, you may be asking me, why do I like to uh, volunteer my time or to be part of community? So um, there's this Zig Ziglar quote I get to uh, come across sometimes ago that says, um, you can't have everything in life you want if you will just help other people get what they want. So um, helping people is actually helping myself because when I help people, when I teach them something, when I let them know about something, when they get to see opportunity somewhere, indirectly I'll find out that I'm also helping myself in return. So uh, I love to help people. I love to, especially when it comes to bridging the gap of knowledge. And um, I also help, want to help people to also make sure that whatever thing they need, they don't need to struggle to get it. Why I may have a lot, is uh, putting a lot of resources uh, for me to be able to know about that particular thing. I um, always want to make sure that uh, whatever I'm sharing with them, um, they don't have to go through that same stress that I have to go through. All right, so um, the Lagos community. So uh, Lagos community is, is quite big and um, it, it used to be dominant in Yaba, but due to um, the uh, current um, COVID-19, um, 
everything seems everything is remote right now so uh there seems to be all since first quarter of this year there seems to there have been um a kind of uh, restrict restrictions so um there have not been any gathering but but lagos have actually been able to attract the attention of the world so um in the past we've been able to have the facebook ceo google ceo GitHub and Twitter CEO recently coming to Lagos and try, um, coming to see for themselves how well the Lagos community is doing and also been able to pick up talent and uh, gone as far as investing in Lagos. So we have the Google and Google office in Nigeria, Lagos. Um, by, half, by the second half of 2021, Facebook office too is going to be opened in Nigeria. And um, recently, uh, one of the big success to the Lagos tech startup um, is, um, is Paystack. Um, recently, um, being able to be um, bought up by um, Stripe for $200 million. And then recently, uh, CUDA, CUDA is a local bank um, that doesn't have any physical office, except maybe their headquarters. And they've been doing pretty well. Recently, they also raised $10 million. And so it's, it's really been a good... Um, um, goods right here in Lagos, and um, so if you may ask anybody in the tech community in Lagos, why did they actually go to meetups? Yeah, they will tell you because they want to get the swags and they also want to eat the jello fries. So there have always been the competition of jello fries between Lagos and Ghana, but that that's not the reason from this presentation actually. But a lot of swags, um, t-shirts, stickers. But actually, a lot of reasons why people do attend this meetup is um, most of them find the time to get and sub um, co-founders. They get to learn something new, except when you are into uh, when you attend academies or you attend um, um, community meetups that have to do with peer coding. You get to learn new tools. You get to learn new ways of writing code or writing something that you've been spending so many years to do. So, so Lagos community have been a very wonderful one. And I'm sure um, if you have opportunity to come to Lagos, you want to visit any of these um, communities. So Lagos community, uh, we had our first meetup in um, April 2020. That was this year. But before then, um, it seems been around uh, February that we um, that the idea came like, um, hey, I was like, oh, I love this, uh, what Maltic is doing. Uh, why I don't have much idea about Maltic, I just love building communities. So I, I remember reaching out to Root, Root, um, the project lead, Maltic Project League, and then I asked her uh, if it's possible to have a community in Lagos. And she said, she, that's fine. And um, we got the Maltic, uh, the Meetup account set up, and then scheduled our first event to happen in April. And um, we booked the we booked the we booked the venue already. That was NGO but yeah, but the Facebook NGO, and everything has been pretty ready, just for us to go there physically and have the event. But unfortunately, in March, about third week in March, there was COVID nineteen happened and. It was it wasn't possible anymore to hold the physical meetup, but then it was like no, we can't just cancel this program. We can go on to have this virtually, and that brings about the idea of holding the event virtually. And um, since since it started since April, we've been able to hold six meetups, and we've been able to have seven speakers, wonderful speakers, experienced speakers speakers that were ready to give their time to be able to explain things to people. And so far as of yesterday, we have about 262 morticians on multi.com. Um, this has been happening because there have been a wonderful team behind this. And, um, and that includes Favor and that includes Victor. They've been wonderful and um, they've been really been the backbone behind hosting all of these um, together with them hosting all of these meetups. And I'm going to be sharing with you um, what we've been doing so far and um, the topics um, that we have been able to talk about. So um, this is our journey to infinity and um, this is how we started. Um, Ruth Chisley um, 
was our first speaker and she's always there to give us that encouragement she's always there to always give us that support anytime we need anytime i request her oh how do we go about this she's always there willing to set up meetings willing to sh and do guide us through willing to actually help us and then she she actually was our first speaker and um, she was able to come to talk to us about what Maltic is and um how we can be able to contribute to Maltic. And um, it was really a very good session because part of our presentation is still what we use for our introduction from for our meetup subsequently till now. So it it was it was a, a really wonderful one and um she really inspired everybody and everybody got ignited to be able to be to contribute themselves to uh, contribute to Mautic. And um, the next person who actually came on board was um, Dennis, Dennis Ameling. And thank you, Dennis, uh, for coming around because they actually broke it down, showing us how to be able to install Mautic, how to be able to configure the cron jobs, how to be able to do the settings and everything that needs to be done to properly have a Mautic, um, a properly configured Mautic. And it was wonderful having you in May to talk to us about this. It was really a great session and um, we actually learned a lot. So um, the next person we had was um, Islam Mohammed. Islam Mohammed was able to take us through the plugin that he built for Shopify. That was in June and it was he was able to share with us um, how you can be able to use it to be able to um, um, multi and e-commerce, but specifically for Shopify, and how to can be able to um, abandon cards, how to remarket, and everything that you know about e-commerce, and now you can be able to use multi together with it. AK. AK is the community lead at Mautic, and uh, it, it was very, very good to have AK up with us. Uh, I could remember one of when AK wanted to action on that Saturday morning, and um, <laughs> to our surprise, it, we, 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 we had a lot of RSVP before that was even far higher than what we used to have in our previous meetup. And uh, <laughs> AK came on board for like five to 10 minutes. Nobody joined and it was like, are we going to cancel this? But, but we have to go on to record the session. But while the session was halfway, we started adding people trooping in and I get to learn a lot of things about that. So I'll be sharing that during the um, learning session, um, what, 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 AK, what we're able to do and what we've been able to do, what we've been doing after that so that we can be able to have a session where we get people turning in very early. All right, so the next session we have duo of um, Kelvin and um, Yosu. So um, Kelvin and Yosu uh, really, really did a very great job trying to talk to us more in a more advanced way about uh, Mautic and um, how you can be use it and deploy it on a large scale. And that was handled by Yosu. Yosu was able to break it down for everyone on the call and um, everybody was so happy they had learned something new uh, on how to be able to deploy Mautic on a large scale. And Malt and Kel Kevin too was able to share with us how you were able to go about segmentation in Mautic. All right, so um, the person we have recently that joined us, and that was last month, was um, Joseph Kayla. Joseph was uh, able to take us through Chrome just from the basic to the intermediate to the advanced level. And he was able to take us through Right script and to run Chrome jobs, and uh, he, he was actually share all of all of this within a very short time frame and in a very understandable manner. Like he 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 was straight to the point. He was able to get everybody on the on the webinar to be able to understand how they can do Chrome jobs in a different way, and it was really really a wonderful session, and um. All these sessions I've talked about are on our YouTube, um, on um, 
YouTube account, just search for Multic Meetup Lagos on YouTube. You can re get the recordings of all of these sessions there and you can pretty watch them, learn something, and then be able to implement them in your next design. So that's not all because we still have infinite, the journey is infinity. We still have a very long way to go, but we, that, that's pretty how we've been able to start from April when we first had our first meetup up to last month when we had um, the one recent one we had. It's, it's, it's really been a wonderful journey. It's really been a wonderful time. It's really been a very wonderful experience so far. And uh, this has been possible because we have a team that is ready to make this happen. And we have speakers that were ready to give us their time and be able to um, give us the opportunity to also get them on the board. All right, so um, you may be wondering, so um, how have you been able to go about all of these? Uh, and uh, what tools have you been able to get all of this to do? So we, we have a Canva account. We use the multi Canva community account where we're able to use that to be able to quickly come up with um, graphics that we want to share. So it's easy for us to quickly get, create graphics for different um, placements. So for Facebook event, for LinkedIn event for Facebook post, Twitter post. So we can quickly create one design. Once we everything is when we, everything is good, we quickly change it and then put it into different layouts for other designs. And Canva has been very helpful. I, like the team at Canva are doing a very great job at giving us such a wonderful tool and um, to be able to get people to do complex work, complex uh, work in a very seamless and very easy way. So um, when we want to promote our event, so what we use musically was to do Facebook events, then put in the RSVP link to our Multic account. So anybody that wants to RSVP, they go to Multic. So what other ways we used to do again is to post it in the Multic channel, um, Meetup channel in Multic. Oh, and right there, we also get a lot of people that get to know about the event. Another way we go about is um, trying to promote it on Facebook. Sorry. So trying to promote it on Facebook. So we try to use um, Facebook ads to also promote the event too. So, uh, so from the first event that we had up to this um, 51, we've only been using Zoom. And um, Ruth has been very helpful with us because she actually used to run the backstage for us. And um, it, it, it's been really pretty one because when we do, when we run the meet, um, the meetup after the speaker has given his um, presentation, we, we, we break out into the rooms where we have uh, everybody to network and also talk. We we'll try to mimic a real life scenario and bring it into online so that we can get everybody to interact, not just come, listen, and go. So we break everybody into breakout rooms where they get to interact, talk about the topic, talk about how they use multi, talk about every different things that they 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 they, they, um, they they want to talk about. And then everybody comes back after like 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes, they come back to the, the general session. We add the question and answer if there's still any, then we do a roundup where we do announcement. So basically this is the flow of all our event. So we, we start with an introduction then we talk about what Mautic is all about, basically because of people that might be joining us for the first time. So, so that was where we were able to use some part of Ruth's presentation that she she presented to us at the beginning at our first meetup. And then after that, we introduce the speaker. The speaker take up the stage, do his presentation and demonstration, and then we take some questions if there is any. Then we go out. We go into breakout sessions. When we go in breakout session. We come back after the breakout session. We answer more questions. Then we then we used to come up with updates and announcements. So whatever has happened in the community in the last one month, we share it with the participant of the meetup, and then we do the closing, and that ends it for the day. So that's how we've been running the running each meetup every day, every every month when we have those such meetup. And like I mentioned earlier, we use meetup.com, so you can find us on meetup.com slash pro slash meetup dash mautic dash meetup dash lagos so you can join our community so that you can be able to get updates when we have our next meetup so um 
apart from Zoom, so last month we tried out Emit and it was wonderful, it was great. So uh, Emit allows us to be able to have opportunity when this session is yet to start. So you, you, you can go to the networking room and be able to link up with people. And also after the speakers have spoken, they can also go into the networking room and they, were, they can be able to get people to still ask them questions and anything they want to talk about. So it was really, really great to have Emit test run last month. And for our event this month, we surely be using Emit again because it, it gave us another seamless experience. So all our recordings are on YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel multi meetup lagos where you can be able to um, watch all the recordings for our past um meetups so um what have we been what have i been able to learn and what are the team be able to learn so when it comes to speaker so um we always talk to the speaker we're like hey if if i don't know the speaker directly sometimes i'm average to reach out to root or i might have to reach out to ak and say hey we like to we would like to have XYZ speak our next event. Do you mind doing an introduction or do you mind uh, help us get it and uh, talk to him so that we can be able to then once AK or Ruth has been able to do such introduction, the next thing I just do is to chat him or chat the speaker up and then have an interaction with the speaker. And then the speaker would like, most of the time we don't give the speaker um, topic um, we just tell them what we are looking at what areas we are looking at and the speaker comes with the topic they want and then we, we agree on a date and everybody is fine usually we have our meetups on the last saturday of every month so in case you want to join any of our meetups it's usually last saturday of every month and it's usually 10 a.m utc that is um 11 a.m west african time gmt plus one so um, you can please join us um, if you have the opportunity. So once we get that, we keep in touch with the speaker and we ask them to give us their intro. We ask them to talk, to give us their graphic, uh, yeah, their, their portrait or pictures so that we can be able to use it for the um, graphics that we want to do. And for some speakers, we go ahead to create a calendar and share with them just so that they can be sure about the time because we actually work with speakers on different time zones. So you want to be sure that everybody are on the same track and um, there's the, the time is actually what is, exp what the time you, we are hosting the meetup is actually the time they are aware of. So we have a situation where uh, speakers have to woke up as early as 3 a.m. just to join us and talk to us. And um, one of them was, um, rad, rad. one of them was, um, sorry yeah one of them was um kevin so sorry about that so one of them was kevin so kevin when he did this presentation he has to woke up as early as 3 a.m to be able to be part of the meetups so um we also make sure that we create whatever room we are using whether zoom, zoom or any and make sure the speakers have their um link on time their unique link to join as speakers because um I've made the mistake once. I, I I forgot to share the link with the speaker, and then on the day of the on the day of the event, the speaker had to start going on Meetup and start looking for the event link. I, I was so ashamed of myself that day. So after that day, I made sure that immediately the speakers has agreed. We create the room link, this link for the meetings, and then share their unique link with them so that we don't get to fall into such situations. So um to get to announce to the attendee so we we go on to use the meetup announcement and then announce to everybody that hey, we have another meetup kindly join and then we use our facebook event personal post um whatsapp story status uh, facebook stories whatever means we could use to be able to talk about our events we also use all of those channels so for publicity so um we use the LinkedIn event, Facebook event, and then we use the RSVP on the link on them so that anybody that wants to RSVP, it takes them to our multi um, our meetup.com community page where they can RSVP for those events. So uh, we also make sure that for our YouTube account, um, for every YouTube account, we make sure to have good description about it and then also put timestamp. So timestamp for when top um 
top different topics were discussed and so and that has helped us to be able to get more people discovering our um our videos in youtube search anybody looking for multic anything related to multic so i i did mention the other time that when ak came on board we couldn't have anybody joining for like five to ten minutes so so we did notice that after him you might have get the, schedule the event and then get people to um rsvp sometimes they still need to be reminded so what we now do is we go as far as going into slack going to the events that we created on facebook sometimes on linkedin going to the facebook um, group and then saying hey we have started join us and then share the event link with everybody so that they can join us in that way although we are trying to share the link because those that have no rsvp might join but we always encourage them to go back and rsvp and we showed we believe that they used to do so all right so um i'm actually getting to the end of this presentation and um our next meetup is going to be happening in two weeks time november 28th please join us and um this speaker this time is going to be a Nigerian speaker and they will be talking to us about how you can get your emails into inbox, how to avoid spam. So um, the speakers will, will be coming to Samson Ali, but will come to talk to us about, about this topic. So join us 10 a.m. UTC, that is um, 11 a.m. GMT plus one, West African time. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, in case you need to reach out to me, you can contact me with um, my multic email oluatobi.olabi at multic.org on social media you can always see me at um, at uh, at top so um the link for this meetup is uh, oh, for this for this presentation in case you need to uh, go over it is here so you can always watch you can always um get to have this um go ahead, go back and revise this um presentation all right then it's Hey, Toby, thank you so much for your presentation. I think it's uh, very valuable information for people who want to set up a local community. I really liked how you also went into uh, seemingly unimportant things, like what kind of tools you use, because I think that's very practical information for people to know if they want to get started with a local community. So um, I would like to say, let's go over to the questions. First one being, how do I start a Motic meetup in my community? All right, so um, starting a meetup community, um, meetup, uh, Mautic meetup in my com in community doesn't have any special skills. So uh, I would say uh, what you just need to do is um, join the community team on Slack, reach out to AK. AK is the community, uh, is the community lead for Mautic. Talk to AK. AK is going to get everything set up in Mautic.com account for that particular community and then link to the company account for Mautic and then pretty sure starting your first meetup is might be one of the top jobs if you've not been running meetups before but trust me um ak is there root is there um if you if you like to reach out to me i'm also able, able to, i'm also available to help that's awesome thank you so much for offering your help there uh that's really thank really you. good for people to know so they can get started yeah uh, let me see. Second question. What are the criteria to start a local community? Okay. Uh, well, to, to, to start this um, local community, I just felt, I, I, I think the best thing you need to have is having a passion to lead and to be able to, uh, to be able to commit time and then resources for this because nobody's getting paid to do this. We are only doing it just to be able to help other people. So it, there is no really a special requirement. Um, like I said, when I started the multi community, I really don't know much about how much multi work. I'm just interested in getting because I could see a good, I can see a number of room, numerous things multi could do, and I can see there is no nobody is doing anything about it in Nigeria, or nobody knows really know much about it in Nigeria. Why not have a community around it in Nigeria? And that was how I started. So I can see from every meetup we've been holding so far, I've always been learning something new on each of these meetups. Yeah, that makes sense. So one question that, that wasn't in the, in the list of questions that I would like to know is, um, what about the, the localization? So do you, run the, the meetups in english or do you do them in a different language so all the meetups will be running has been an english language okay so in nigeria is the is the language normally english or a different one 
so so Nigeria has over two hundred and fifty dialects. Okay. <laughs> so, but, but the most but but the official language is English. So uh, every meetup in Nigeria is usually English. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier then because we also have some communities, for example, in Japan, and there it, it's a lot more difficult to do everything in English. So then, that's yeah, I think the official the official language should be uh, it should be in the uh, should be in Japan, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think that's what they're doing there as well. Uh, all right, I think there's not any other questions anymore. So. Um, yeah, that's it. I would say thank you so much, Toby, for preparing this presentation and sharing this with us today. Uh, everything has been recorded as well. So in case anyone would like to uh, watch it back, that's definitely possible. The recordings will be uploaded in a few days to a few weeks, depending on uh, who's going to do it and when. Um, so again, thank you so much, Toby, for, for being with us today. And uh, I hope thank to you. see you in the Inamata community. But I think it will be absolutely fine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we keep in touch and see each other soon, right? Yeah. Thanks so much, Dennis. All right. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day. And you too. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.